Welcome or welcome back on C Square. Uh, in this video clip, we're gonna talk a little bit about the slope intercept form and how we can use this slope intercept form. So let's see a first example. Uh, we're looking now to number 11 and 12. Very easy example. I like to call this one five seconds problem. Why? Because look at here what this is about. is about uh, writing this famous, I think, form. It's called the slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b, and just plug the information in. We have the slope given, 3, the y-intercept given, 0, 2. We're going to need only that 2, b, equal is, b is equal to 2, and that's it, pretty much. I will say you take a look at number 12 and try to write the equation, stop the video clip, obviously, and uh, then check with me. So if you have this equation, you did a wonderful job. Let's go to the next uh, uh, objective. Uh, this one is kind of similar to uh, the other one. We need to write the equation in slope intercept form. However, the equation is given. And by the way, in case you want to know what form is this, this is the standard form. And uh, in order to go to the slope intercept form, we need to solve for y. So I'm going to do number 13 first. And in this uh, example, in order to solve for y, is just simply subtract 5x. That is the only thing we need to get rid of to isolate y. And because we really need the slope intercept form, we need to start with the x term, the negative 5x. And now we go back to the other two problems we just uh, finished a couple minutes ago. We have the equation in slope intercept form y equals something. And we just have to identify m and b. This is m, right? And this is b. So the m will be negative 5, the b will be 4, and also be careful that the y-intercept can be written as an order pair, 0, 4. Stop the video clip and try to do number 14, and uh, check with me in a couple minutes. So this is the answer for number 14, and obviously now the, we can see the slope. The slope is the number that goes by the x, that 3 halves. And the uh, y-intercept obviously is 7 halves.
Now, one of the reasons we need to know this slope intercept form is the fact that we can graph easy uh, linear equation that are in the slope intercept form. So in this example, you see we have y equals negative 2x plus 3. Uh, and you have all the steps on the uh, right side. And uh, as you notice, the first thing, um, I was looking to the slope, which is uh, negative 2. I put it on the slide negative 4 halves, but you, you, you can just say negative 2. And the y-intercept is 3 or 0, 3. You start from that y-intercept, 0, 3, right here. And then you can go that slope, 4 down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2 to the right, or 4 up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. The idea of this is to get the negative slope, so you can go either way, just be sure you get the negative slope because this original equation has a negative slope. Uh, and let me be sure, I mentioned the slope of 2. So basically, you start from the same y-intercept, and then you're going to go 2 up, 1 to the left, or 2 down, 1 to the right. Because don't forget, the negative 2 is the same thing with negative 2 over 1, or 2 over negative 1. So again, uh, very important to remember this slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. For this reason also, you can graph easy linear equation. You can move away from creating tables. So basically, that's the thing I'm going to do here. I'm going to look to this equation. I'm going to identify the slope. The slope is the number by dx, which is 3. Now it pays off if we say 3 over 1. And the y-intercept would be b equals negative 2 or 0 and negative 2. So, I'm going to start with the y-intercept, which is negative 2. And then I'm going to move 3 up. One, two, three, and 1 to the right to get that positive slope. Of course, having graph paper will be much easier uh, and you can s skip all that counting. I did it by moving up in this case and right. Go ahead and try number 16. Uh, first of all, on number 16, you know, if you want to use this method, uh, the slope and the y-intercept, you need to solve for y. If you have something like that, uh, then uh, you did a wonderful job. Um, if you enjoyed this uh, video clip, don't forget to click the like button down right. Uh, and I'm waiting for you back on C-Square for more uh, math video clips. Thank you and have a great day.